So one thing, we had one thing we were a little bit nervous about when we were coming into Egypt. Oh my God, I actually feel really emotional. I don't think we I can't believe we're going inside a pyramid, Steve. I didn't realize you could go inside. This is terrifying. And we're waiting for our train. It's a 12 hour train ride overnight. Yeah, at the moment we don't have our baggage. So hopefully it's okay. Where's our bed? I wonder how I think it, works. it could Stricken. be in here. Yes. I find it crazy that this is day three of our time here in Egypt and we went from the pyramids to a sleeper train to a boat on the river coming to another table. Alrighty guys, welcome to our hotel. That's our room up there. Saying at Helen Hotels. We've got the second floor. We haven't seen this place yet, but it's very grand. Do you want to do the honors? Yes. That's like the main kind of check-in area. There's other rooms there. Then there's an underground tunnel that walks us out to the pool. Oh my gosh, we have Nile River views. <laughs> okay. Whoa, it's really big. There's like a living room. What? Oh my goodness, this is a hotel? I know. What the? Wow, this tour. There's really nice hotels. Oh yes, this is what they look like from the outside. Kind of curve around to this wow. insane pool, which I'm definitely jumping in. <laughs> this is amazing. And then we have the Nile just there. And a room's so big, it's like an actual living room, bedroom, bathroom kind of thing. Yeah, let's show them around. Wow. You've got like a, a fruit basket. So this is our gigantic lounge oh room. Gosh, like a... Alrighty, and then this is our bedroom just in here. Oh, bedroom is massive. This bed is huge. Have a TV. We also have views of the Nile just there. Man, I am super this impressed. This is so cool. And now we have five hours just to chill at the hotel. I think I'm going to go jump in the pool. And then tonight we're heading off to some markets. Sounds good. Um, one moment, please. <laughs> What is that? <laughs> Literally, Aladdin, right? You know, like the little monkey in Aladdin? A poo. Yeah. Is it a poo? Is oh, it a poo? A poo. Ah, these are cool. This has got my mom written all over it. Oh, Jess, for Hugo. <laughs> Hi, welcome. Howdy, Jessica is on the Elephant hunt. Hair. Now I was actually looking for a scarf. Um, over here? Through the pants. Were you looking for more of a tan colour? Yeah, does he have a mirror? Wow. <laughs> oh, TV. I think I want to get this one, Steve. Yeah? Yeah, it's just like in case we go into any temples or something. I don't even know how you meant to wear it. Um, Princess Diana called. She wants her look back. Princess Diana? Didn't she wear that when she was in India? <gasps> you know what I've been feeling like, guys? Have you guys seen the first Jurassic Park? <laughs> Stephen's making fun of me, you know, with the with the button-up top and the hair. Stephen, we insert I'll a photo. I'll put a photo. <laughs> One million, what a deal! To see what you need after if the price is good, but if the price is not good, then... So I don't ask you? No, I don't think it's your shop. Oh, this is nice. I have to get them. 
But I think it's like a big rug. What's Isaac Salad doing? Ask him how much for us. You big bossy here. Oh, I give I it to, to see what do you need after I make you really the price you this like. This is all I want. All it is? Yeah. In Egyptian. minutes was it and then it just so. gets like a little bit too much because so many people want you to come in their stores so it's I feel like you need to like come and then leave and then you can come back later like you need a short amount of time in there it's like chaotic haggling in there is intense so I went in there going okay I want to try and find a scarf for 30 Egyptian pounds so it's like what's that two dollars Australian 250 yeah. ever because that's what our tour guide recommended that that's how much they should be worth so they'll just jump out with 250 300 I was like no 30 30 finally I really had to haggle down and I got we're literally 30. almost out we're just walking and no, he was just shouting 80 70 it. It was... 50 okay 30 come back to my shop no 30 here oh okay gosh, good I wish you'd got on camera it was intense but I got because like a threads of coming out of it like it's not worth much you know but now I have a scarf I just don't know what to do with it but I wanted one <laughs> So we've come back to our hotel and we're having kind of a cool dinner tonight. We have a boat that's just picked us up from our hotel and is going to take us down the Nile to our restaurant. Oh yeah, this is just how epic our hotel is, guys. All of these front villas we have and then it has its own dock. Thank you. Yeah, this is so cool. Hello. Hello. That's my plan tonight. Our dinner experience is kind of cool. Oh yeah, I thought I'd tell you guys some prices. So it's about 250 Egyptian pounds, which is like maybe 20 Australian dollars to come out, including the boat ride over. And uh, back in the day, back in the ancient times, there was a country called Nubia, which was within Egypt. It's now been dissolved into the country, but there's still some Nubians around, and we're gonna go try some of their local food. It's called a tagine. It's gonna be fish caught from the Nile mixed into like a casserole. So I'm excited to try it. This is the restaurant here. It's pretty cool. And you see that light just over there? Have you seen the Agatha Christie classic, Murder on the Nile? Kind of like the sequel to Murder on the Orient Express. They filmed it just there. Look at the tea station thing. Oh, wow. It's like in hot coal, see? Oh man, I need, to, I need Oh, I can feel yeah. it. I need to get some of that. Okay. I like how it's in the terracotta thing. Oh, so is it the actual thing that they yeah, put in? Yeah, is it, the tagine. tagine yeah. Oh, okay, so this is the tagine, That's like the, the actual tagine. container, and they cook it inside it. Okay, so, what's fish from the Nile taste like? Yeah, fish from the Nile. Yes, yeah. Yeah. It's like a tomato base. Yum. It's good. Yeah. It's really like soft. Oh, nice. Uh, Kate, they're bringing. It's very yummy. I mean, you're gonna really like it, Steve. Oh, yum. Oh, you're right about it being soft. It's like falling off the floor. Nile fish. Oh, yum. I know, it's good, hey? Mm -hmm. I could eat more of this. <laughs> Alrighty, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you are new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. So we're actually gonna be spending the next two nights living on board one of these Falukas. I can't wait to show you guys what this next kind of two nights is gonna be because it's just rustic, living out, no like beds, just.